How do you make a million dollars in real estate, folks? More specifically, how do you make a million dollars flipping houses, right? Is that something you want to know? I'm guessing it is because I'm pretty sure I am probably titled the video like how to make a million dollars in real estate or like how to make a million dollars flipping houses. And then you clicked on it. So it's pretty clear to me that's what you want to know how to do. So guess what? That's what we're going to do right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. My name is James. I will be your guide, your guide to making a million dollars flipping houses, folks. We do a lot of things in real estate. We do a lot of things here on Holton Wise TV, right? Long-term buy and hold real estate, multifamily rental, single family, section eight, luxury Airbnb, a little bit of wholesale, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, right? One of those things we do, which I haven't mentioned yet, is uh, nope, not seller financing, although we do do that, and I haven't mentioned that. But no, one of the things I didn't mention in that long list was flipping houses, right? Obviously, you knew that was coming, though, because, again, that's what I started the show off with talking about during that little teaser. But, yes, flipping houses uh, is one real estate strategy that we utilize. I've made a lot of money flipping houses, and I'm here to help you do the same, right? Today, I'm specifically working for my dude, JJ. JJ, you are an investor from Los Angeles, and what you did is you went out and you recruited some partners and you raised some money. Good job out of you, brother. You didn't have enough money to flip houses on your own, so you fucking hit the ground running. You hit the bricks, right? You hit the phones, you rounded up some buddies, and you guys put together a little fund. We're working with, like, I think you said somewhere around, like, 125 k in cash. And that's sweet. Probably not that sweet in L.A., though, right? Still going to be impossible to flip houses in L.A. Can't make a million dollars flipping houses in L.A. if you only got 125 k But that's what I'm here for. That's why you hooked up with me, right? That 125 k your job was to raise it, and you did. My job now is to find you houses to flip with that 125k. Low cost houses in the markets across the United States that are not nearly as expensive as LA. And I've done that. And my other job, of course, would be to broker the sale for you and then have my team handle the renovations, right? So what I got for you today is a flip that's going to put us on the path to making you one million dollars and we're starting it with 125k but right before i get into exactly how we're going to structure the deal how the whole thing's going to work i need everybody else who's watching your show right now to understand something folks i sent this video to jj privately probably months ago okay so this property ain't available like i it's going to make some money you're like oh dude that's sweet i want to do that you can't do it on this one all right the deal's no longer for sale I don't publish them publicly on Holton Wise TV until uh, after the deal is done, right? So if you want to work with me in real time to get yourself on the way to a million dollars flipping houses, folks, shoot us an email, get on the phone with my team, right? Shoot us an email, give us your number, we'll hop on the phone with you, click the show notes below, book yourself a call, and you can work with me in real time like I'm doing with JJ from L.A. So, brother... Without further ado, let's jump into exactly how to make a million bones flipping some houses right after this. Two, please. Welcome back. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make a million dollars. That's what we're going to do. But we can't make a million dollars at once, okay? 
have anybody out there Googling, oh, I make a million dollars flipping houses. That's going to that tells me one thing about you. If, you're, if, you've, if you found this show right now because you Googled, how do I make a million dollars flipping houses? How do I make a million dollars becoming a real estate investor? Something along those lines. That tells me one thing. You are pretty much guaranteed to be a brand new investor. And that's totally cool. That's awesome. That's what we're doing. We're helping people in that situation. But the first thing you need to understand about making a million dollars in real estate, because I've made a million dollars in real estate many times over, folks, okay? And the number one thing you need to understand about making that kind of money in real estate is you don't make it at once. You make it many times. You make it with many small deals, small deals. You have to start with one deal, right? You ain't going to be like Monday, oh, man, ah, what's up? I don't like my job anymore. I'm just going to become a millionaire real estate investor. And then Wednesday, you're a millionaire real estate investor. It doesn't work that way, okay? Uh, is it possible? Yes, but you have to understand. Baby steps, folks. Little deals, putting them together time and time and time and time and time again, right? I've sold $200 million worth of real estate, folks. $200 million worth of real estate. You got to hustle. You got to grind. You got to do it every single day. It's a lifestyle. You don't become a millionaire real estate investor just trying to do like one deal here, one deal there. You got to be grinding every single day, doing due diligence on properties, putting offers on properties, and securing deals. Deals like this one. Anyone can do this sucker. Cheap as hell, okay? The property, 2443 Grovewood, Parma, has been on the market. For 26 days, it is priced at 114000 And this is, like, the best way to do a flip. This, you're going to love this, right? This is, like, so perfect, right? This is so perfect. We're going to make our money on the buy. We're not going to even have to do, like, a difficult renovation here. Give me a second. I'm thirsty. Now, what you see here. Little Parma bungalow, okay? Got a little dated little kitchen there. Just a bunch of crap. Tenants live in there, okay? That tenant is how we make our money. Couple little vacuums there. You know, bada bing, bada boom. All right? <clears throat> Here's what you need to know. You need the market knowledge, folks. That's what I provide. The house in and of itself, not a bad house. The flip's going to be cosmetic, very, very easy. The reason we can do a deal like this, the reason this is a prime candidate for a flip, an easy flip, is because of that tenant, okay, and because of this neighborhood. It's in Parma, Ohio, right? Parma, Ohio is an area, suburb of Cleveland, where the buyer base, right, the people that drive the housing prices in Parma, Ohio, are first-time home buyers, things of that nature, owner-occupant home buyers, right? We do a lot of stuff here on Holton Wives where the neighborhoods are driven by people like you, investors, right? Buying properties for cash flow, buying properties with tenants. There's a tenant in this property. They're asking $114,000 for it. That tenant's paying 600 a month, month to month, okay? Now, if you're a real estate investor worth your salt, you know that it don't make no sense to pay $114,000 for a $600 rental in the Cleveland market, right? If you're paying $114,000, we could pretty much in the Cleveland market get you like $1,800 a month in rent, right? Why would you do a third of that? You wouldn't. So there's only two kinds of buyers in this world, owner, occupants, and investors, right? Well, all the investors don't want this property because it makes no sense. It makes no money, right? That leads us to owner, occupants. Well, guess what? Why would they want this scuzzy property with some scuzzy tenant in there? Nothing like looked appealing about this property, right? So that's where we're going to slide in and take advantage, okay? Investors not digging it because it makes no money as a long-term rental given the situation. Now, that tenant is way below market, but market rent is like 1000 maybe 1100 But that's the thing. Housing prices in Parma are not driven by uh, the price-to-rent ratios like some of the neighborhoods in Cleveland. They're driven by what owner-occupants will pay. And if this house is fresh, clean, cosmetically nice-looking, owner-occupants will pay almost 150 k So here's how the whole deal will shake out. We are going to try to sell it for $145,000. Should have absolutely no problem selling this for $145,000. And our goal is going to be to make $1,300. 
$20,000. We want to make $20,000 because $20,000 is going to put us on our way to making a million dollars, folks. You do five of these deals, okay, five of these deals a year, you're making 100 k a year flipping houses. Do that for 10 years. That's a million bucks, right? A million bucks in 10 years. You do five flips a year. That's pretty doable, right? You could do five flips a year. It's 100 k a year. Do it for 10 years. Takes you to 50 of these flips at 20 k a pop. That's a million bucks, right? Here's how it works. We want to sell it for 145, right? That means we can pay no more than 80,400 for it because we're going to need to spend approximately 33,000 having my team handle the renovation to flip this thing for you, right? What that's going to entail. We're going to need to take the property and then manage it till we could remove the tenant. The tenant is why we're going to be able to try to get it for that discount, right? If this house was empty and fresh, it's a $145,000 house, but it's going to sit because owner occupants, they don't want to deal with a tenant. How's that going to work, right? They need to live there and investors they don't want this kind of rental income, right? They're getting 1800 for the same price. So because of that, we could lowball the seller. Now, is it guaranteed we get the deal? No, but that's part of flipping houses. That's part of becoming a millionaire flipping houses. If you're trying to flip five houses a year, make your 100 k a year, doing that for 10 years, that's 50 flips. If you're going to do 50 flips, don't think you're making an offer on 50 houses or 54 houses. We got to pound out these lowball offers. We got to do the numbers and just boom, 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 boom. Shotgun these motherfuckers out there. It's a numbers game, right? And you look for deals that have pain points, right? There's a pain point in this deal, right? You got a seller who's not making any money because the tenant's paying too little in rent. They probably just want to get rid of it. They're probably an accidental landlord. They didn't purposely become a landlord to rent their Parma house for 600. They probably lived there, moved to a nicer house, right? This is like a first time home buyer neighborhood. Then you make a little money, you move out. You move to like a $250,000 neighborhood. They just slapped a tenant in there when the market was down. Now the market's hot, but these people have no idea what they're doing and they're leaving money on the table by trying to sell it with the tenant. They should have removed the tenant, but they didn't. That's their fucking problem. Let's make some money now, right? So. 80400 33K for the rental. What that's going to entail after we get the tenant out, we're going to repaint everything, uh, refinish any hardwoods or replace the carpet, completely redo the kitchen. Nothing major, just first-time homebuyer neighborhood, just like Home Depot, Lowe's quality stuff, make it look good. Do a new bathroom, make that bathroom look banging. That's a total of 33000 Worst-case scenario, it comes up to thirty eight, but I'm pretty dialed in on my pricing. It should be about 33, right? And then, of course, when you sell it down the road, you got to pay 7% to me to sell it for you. And then, of course, you got closing costs, right? So you buy it for 80400 You do that rental. When we sell for one hundred forty-five k, that will put you at a clear, simple, easy profit of twenty k. And then, again, what we're going to do, we're going to do this five times a year. That's 100 k a year in your pocket, and guess what? You're not really spending that much time. My team's doing all the legwork, so you continue to work your day job, okay? We're going to do that. 100 k a year for, uh, well, how many years is that? 100 k we got to get to, uh, we got to do that for 10 years, folks. 10 years. <laughs> five deals a year for 10 years. You are now a millionaire house flipper. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.